Okay, and welcome back. Um, this video is about uh, testing the uh, CG to determine where the battery needs to be. If you look inside the airplane, there's actually two places you can put the battery. One is right here under the hatch, right there. And the other is back here just in front of the um, servos. And uh, I don't know which place is better until we run a CG test. So I'm going to start with the battery um, in the front here underneath the hatch. And uh, we'll see what the CG is like there. And if I don't like it, I can move it back to the um, tray in front of the uh, servos. And so let me get this set up for uh, doing the CG test. Be right back. Okay, so I like to use the Great Plains uh, CG machine. It's a wonderful little tool, um, very worthwhile. Uh, even if you're only doing one airplane, you get an accurate CG, and that's very important. <clears throat> okay, so this is the Great Plains CG machine. Um, it's got these rulers uh, at the top, and according to the to the uh, instruction manual for the airplane. The CG, the center, um, uh, it even recommends in here to use a Great Plane CG machine because it's a Great Plane airplane. And it says set the rulers to 84 millimeters. So all you got to do is, is um, set that little ruler right there to uh, 84 millimeters. And... Uh, the two rulers should be on the outside, so there is a left and a right to the rulers. <clears throat> and uh, so here we go. Uh, all I'm going to do is just pick up the airplane and set it so that the, the front of the wing is in front of these two little um, indicators there. And we'll see what happens. Okay, you got to sort of hold the airplane with one hand. Get the rulers in the right direction. Okay. There we go. And then just slide the airplane forward so that they sit with uh, this little red indicator right here. Um, just like that. So you can see that the, from here to here is 84 millimeters. Now I'm holding it up with my hand in the front. And if I try to let go, it's way too nose heavy. So I'm actually not going to let go. That's a lot of nose heavy. So um, I'm going to take the airplane off and set it back down. Okay. Oh, by the way, uh, most all of the time, my airplanes have a um, piece of cloth around the prop so that, especially when I'm working on the front of this thing, those props are sharp. They don't uh, nick me or poke me in the eye or something. Um, so that's uh, not going to work. I'm going to stop the camera and move the battery. Okay, so I've moved the battery. I'm going to put the hatch back on. All I did, the battery's not connected in any way. And, and uh, so it's easy enough just to move the battery back and um, uh, to the tray uh, just in front of the servos um, just by moving it with the hatch open. Okay, so um, we're going to try this again. Well, that worked better this time. Okay. Now I'm going to try to get these lined up correctly, and we'll see if that helped. Uh, nope, still quite nose heavy. Okay, um, so what that means is we need to put as much as we can toward the tail of the aircraft. Um, I'm surprised it's that nose heavy, but it is. Um, 
I'm going to go ahead and try out some lead weights on the tail. Basically what I've got here are um, strips of, of lead weights. Okay, so here we go. Strips of lead weights. And uh, I got five, nine, uh, 13, 14, 15. That's a lot of lead weight. So I'm going to start with uh, eight pieces of lead weight up, up on the tail. <clears throat> I'm going to walk around so I can get to the tail. You won't see me. But so I'm going to hold the airplane to, for it to be level. I'm going to put several lead weights here and uh, see how that works. Okay, so um, I guess that was a lucky guess. Let me try a couple of others. That was um, 13 lead weights. That's an awful lot, but that's the way it is. Um, I'm going to put another three on. Okay, so that's a little better. Okay, so... Um, That's a lot more lead weights than I like, um, but that's the way it's going to be. You can't move much else around. The battery is um, uh, the biggest uh, um, movable object inside to change the CG. Uh, so I'm going to stop the camera here. I'm going to take the wing off and see if there is any other place for the battery to sit further back, but I don't think there is. I'll be back in uh, just a minute. Okay, so I've looked carefully in here. Um, uh, there is room behind the servo tray toward the back here. It'd be hard to get to though because of the two push rods for the uh, rudder and elevator. Um, but it's probably possible to get it in there. But there's no structure to, to um, hold it in place, to Velcro it down or whatever. So I'm going to go with their recommendation and put it right here in front of the servo tray and then just add whatever weight is necessary on the tail to compensate to get it uh, the CG right. Remember the CG is always done with an empty tank and uh, um, so it looks like we'll have some lead in the tail. Thank you very much and stay tuned to the next video.